<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome to Erin's Training Journal. Um, I have decided that I am going to change the format on my horse training journal or my horseback riding journey journal um, because lately I've been following or filling out Athena's Training Journal on this and what's happening is after my rides at the end of the day when I'm exhausted I've had really no time to write. I think it would be easier for me to um, verbally do my journal. Um, so I figured I would do maybe a separate side space for my journal entries um, because um, I, I gave this some thought. I was going to do, let's see, I was going to do like all my journal entries and set them to private so nobody could see them, but I'm wondering if maybe there's people out there that are struggling with the same things that I'm struggling with or have been through what I've been through and maybe we could help each other out with our journeys through horseback riding. Um, so this is kind of like episode number one. Um, because it's Friday and it's the end of the week. I'm, I'm fairly tired. I'm actually not going to ride Athena today. I'm just likely going to brush her and maybe free lunge her, just get her moving a bit because I know she had a lesson today, um, but I need to get my energy back and I'll ride her tomorrow and do a real entry. Um, but I figured I would go through what I'm looking for in my riding career and that kind of thing. We're going to start with um, Athena. She is the horse that I own. I got her in 2011 from a horse rescue named Whispering Hearts Horse Rescue. When I got her, nobody had been on her back. She had very little handling, so I was able to start right from the get-go. And she has been the best horse for me. She has been trying her heart out with everything that I do. She has been putting up with all the mistakes, and trust me, I make a lot of mistakes, that I've been doing with her. And she's just... No matter what she's, no matter what she's had my back. She's been nothing but kind. She is the love of my life. Um, she's a Pertron cross. I've been told Pertron paint because when they rescued her, she had a paint full. Um, you can see a lot of the Pertron in her, and I'm sure I'll be posting a lot of video about her. Um, I don't really see a lot of the paint in her, but that doesn't necessarily mean she isn't one. Um, what we're currently working on is dressage and jumping. My main goals for her um, for the longest time was flying lead changes. We're, we're looking into that. She's actually learning that. I'm learning that. I'm trying very hard to stay out of her way. I'm finding it very difficult to coordinate all my aids at the proper time, but we are getting there and I'm going to keep working on it. Um, I eventually want to be able to, to jump a course with Athena and feel comfortable about it as though I can help her out with it. Um, with dressage, I just want to find the harmony with her. Um, so, and I'm having a bit of a crisis of what discipline to do, so I'm doing the both. Um, with myself as a rider, now I don't know if a lot of people feel the same way I do. I find that everybody I talk to, or most people that I talk to, seem to have a lot more confidence in their riding than I do. Um, so that's kind of hard to, to deal with. It's weird, when I'm on Athena... No matter what, I know Athena's got my back. I know Athena's going to put up with whatever I do to her. And I have stopped riding other horses for years um, because Athena was safe. Now at this new place that I am at, they have other horses to ride. And I've actually had an, a chance to ride another horse that's totally different than Athena. Like a chestnut thoroughbred. And Athena's, you know, a big warm blood. Um, and she is a very patient mare, but she's very sensitive and I make a lot of mistakes and she's a wee bit less tolerant of my mistakes. I mean, she's not mean at all, but she's more, re more reactive. That's the right word to my mistakes. And I'm finding it like the first time I got on her, she did a little bit of kicking, um, nothing big, but it scared me. The second time I got on her, I was by myself, well, with my husband and that went really well. The third time I got on her, I was petrified. Um, it was almost like I got on her and I was afraid to do anything because I didn't want to ruin her. Like I was afraid to just do anything. Um, so I'm going to ask to continue to ride her um, every chance that I get. And maybe I can learn to relax with her. Um, I've only done walk trot with her and I'm making lots of... Um, Lots of mistakes, but I'm learning a lot too. So she's a, a good one, I think, that I think she's going to teach me a lot. And I'm going to try to ride as many different horses as I can 
but I have learned that I do have quite a fear of riding other horses, which I guess makes sense. Um, but yeah, so that I think is what we're going to do with my training journal is I'm going to do my riding and every time I do my riding I'm going to just do a little blurb or a little entry um, explaining how my riding went, what I learned, what I maybe can work on and then as I progress through all this I can look back at other ones and just see where I'm at. Um, so you guys are welcome to come for the journey. Um, if you guys aren't interested in any of that kind of thing I'm sorry but I do have a book club channel that maybe that would be more of your interest or if not well I tried <laughs> um, but those of you that are interested and maybe are struggling with the same things that I am and would like to maybe discuss horses in a fair way we don't need to be judgmental to people we don't need to be angry to people because everybody's at a different spot in their life especially um, in, in an industry that's very <laughs> judgmental to start with but whoever wants to talk about this and, and maybe tell me about your horse and what you're struggling with or or anything. We can kind of go through it together. That would be great. But um, thanks very much for listening. And I will play with my horse today and we'll do a real riding session tomorrow and I will report then. Thanks very much. <laughs>